This video we shot a probably about a month ago. Uh, we did a test drive of a Model 3. It's actually the second time that we've test driven one. We did one probably about two years ago. Uh, maybe a little bit longer than that. Now we're getting a little bit more serious about it. Uh, I test drove the Model Y with my brother back in the summer and that was truly magnificent. But there's something that's always sort of stuck with me with that Model 3. It's just a little bit more sportier. It's a little bit smaller than the car that we drive now. But you know what? Little sacrifices to switch to full electric. And uh, Shannon and I are still figuring out what it is that we actually want, what we're comfortable investing in. And then, uh, so this is gonna, just gonna be our journey. I'm gonna do a series of these videos up to our purchase. And then once we make our purchase, how the ordering process goes, and then just living with the car, living in Vancouver, uh, where we live, we don't actually have charging facility in our building, but that might come soon. The strata's already talking about that. So just how we're gonna fit that into our life and how we're gonna charge this vehicle. We do have a, um, DC fast charging location, a couple of them near us, so it's not really that that far out of our way to go and do this. And then eventually I'll be back at the office where I'll have free charging, level two charging throughout the day. So it's just sort of figuring out how this is all gonna work, um, what we're comfortable spending, uh, what are the features we want, the size vehicle that we want. So here is the test drive of us doing the Model 3. Uh, just a little bit of filming in the car it's kind of just a raw footage of what we of what we experienced on the day that we did the test drive it was a gorgeous rainy vancouver day which in vancouver rains a lot so this is a perfect test drive to get a feel for how this car will perform in the rain what it sounds like and uh hope you enjoy test driving a tesla today a model 3. model 3 long range yep which is a bit higher up than what we're going to Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna get the the. Is it called short range? It's called the standard plus. Yeah. Standard range plus. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're trying it out. Um, pretty good car. I hit my head on the door frame getting inside though. Yeah. That's it's nice. very very low. The door frame here is really low, so that's a weird downfall. But um, yeah, we have 30 minutes with the car, and uh, we're gonna see how it is. Um, it was supposed to be a touchless, uh, like, test drive, but <laughs> the the dealership was all up in our grill before we started driving the car, which was funny. Um, there were some differences from when I tested yeah. the Model Y earlier this summer. Yeah, you the Airline. Y, the Y, they weren't in the car with you at all, and they're not in the car with us now, but she, like, leaned in over you. Like, yeah, leaned in O to get to the screen, and which is kind of a weird thing right now to do. Um, but yeah, we're just testing it out. and So it does beep when the when the green light happens. Oh, okay. So I'll alert you that you need to drive, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's very bumpy. Could be based on the really standard tires they put on the car. It, I feel like I'm bouncing around a lot. Um, it does seem that way. I'm kind of glad it's raining because I've always, the two times that we've test drove before, it was always sun, sunshine. Yeah. I so feel this like, is yeah. The true Vancouver weather. For nice. sure. And I wondered how loud the glass roof was. Was there a little bit of rain coming down? Oh, on? yeah. It's not loud at all. Um, yeah. I was, I'm surprised how bumpy it is. But I, it, that has to do with the fact that they probably put the most standard Michelin okay, well, tires so on. So I didn't, it's because I was in this fold mode, mm -hmm. which is the stopping mode, mm -hmm. I just took my foot off the accelerator and actually gradually slowed us down and came to a full stop. I didn't mm. touch the brake at all. What do you think of the white seats? I hate the white seats. I'd rather have the black, which is black is what we're gonna get. There's no way I'm gonna deal with the white seats. They're pretty, but I don't like them. Let's look at the mirror. Oh, look at that. Is that always on? Probably comes on when you oh, flip it open. Okay, so this is just a piece of, like, like what you have in an iPad which is crazy. Um, I thought it would be a little better than that, but other than that, I like the, the way the air conditioner is. I like that there's nothing on the dashboard. I know, I feel like I can see so much out of it. That yeah. Absolutely I wish the mirrors were a little bit bigger, but I think there's a- uh, Can you move them? There's, there's all sorts of cameras. Oh. You can move the mirrors. Okay. The angle, of course. I have lots and lots of legroom. 
I went all the way, this is as far back as I go and I still have lots of room up there. I don't know how a tall person would drive a Model 3. Um, just because getting into the car, I'm 5'4", and I hit my head on the frame getting into the car. Right. Um, but it's still good. It's still a good car. I just got to get used to not such a narrow height car, I Did guess. It I mean, you say it sits lower than our car? It so. sits lower, and it could be why we're um, more Maybe bumpy, but... I think changing the tires to to like we like the Michelin Defenders, which are a much smoother ride. Mm -hmm. um, switching the tires out to a much smoother ride tire might help with the bumpiness. Oh yeah, he just hit a button, open that, and then he hit a button to close it. You don't. You have to close it manually. <gasps> I thought you can hit a button to close it. <laughs> can he not hit a button to close it? That would be a five hundred dollar feature, probably. No, I thought it was a feature. No. Oh, hit it again. Nope, just release. Oh, well that, what's the point of having the, <laughs> the one and not the other? Um, I'm getting used to the... Uh, the cup holders are kind of small, but there's a bunch of room for stuff oh, yeah. down there. Open, open this up too. Okay, there's lots of room. I, does that go all the way through? No, it does not. I thought it went all the way through. This is like a jewelry box. I see some of the fuzziness wearing away here. So that could be an issue later. Mm. Ooh, that's not cool. Um, I like that you can put a bunch of stuff down there, which is kind of cool. I wonder how far it back it goes. How far in it goes. Uh, it goes in pretty far. Then that closes like that. That'll be scratched up in no time. There's a, uh, people put covers on these things. I was gonna say it would be scratched up in no time yeah. for and sure. Yeah, finger real finger pinky too. And then you can like set cell phones there. And I like that they have room for two cell phones. So that's cool. That's nice and it's not gonna go anywhere. And it's wireless charging. Yeah. Is this and a then, light? And then you can. I tie the light. And then, I don't know what this is for. Are these speakers? Microphone or speakers, maybe. I don't know. Uh, there's little air conditioning vents in the back, which is nice for people in the back seat. Um, little cubby here, which I always look at because I put a lot of stuff in here. Um, you can put a little drink down there too. I want to push breaky. this. It, that's me getting used to the um, the whole feature. Yeah. Regenerative. I don't understand any of that. I just know cars break. I was saying I like how the air, con air conditioner vents, you can change to go different directions. And I think on each side. Yeah, there's two different So sides. that it may, you want maybe some more air I need than I do, yeah. then that's really good. Um, but it is good that we're test driving in the rain. Um, it's so weird, it feels so much lower. I can see why people went for the Y, um, but the three is still really nice. It's way sportier. It is very much sportier. Um, like Lightning McQueen. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me wrong, both cars are amazing. They drive really, really well. Mm -hmm. The Model Y is a much bigger car. It is nice being high up. Yeah. Um, they're both incredibly fun cars to drive. Yeah. This and the Model Y are, are very similar in pricing. It's a difference of only like $5,000. But this is the mid-level Model well, 3. I they don't make a standard range Y, which is really unfortunate. Well, maybe maybe at some point they will. Um, it's still so bumpy. I have a weird issue with bumpy lately. I don't know why. It just feels like I'm being well, jerked around all the time. I think you can... I guess you don't feel it as much as I do because you're driving and holding on to a steering wheel. True. Your steering wheel has less controls on it. It has like... Which I like. You like all the controls, no? I like this. Okay. I like how simplistic it is. You don't need this much. I mean, it's... Uh... They did tell us that you have to pay for Wi-Fi in your car, which is $15 a month. And who knows how much you get with that. You may have to pay more if you want more... Can you can can you not connect your phone to You can, your but phone? apparently every time you start the car you have to reconnect it. Yeah, but then you save so, you money a month. Right. Um 
good for is the um, the software updates. Yeah, but you could get to the point where you're paying eighty dollars a month because you need more data on your car. Right. Well, I don't. Th I mean, I, that's the question I have for her when we're back. You're there. gonna go through the data if you're sitting, charging, watching movies. Well, that that's what I'm curious about. Is like, is it just fifteen dollars a month for unlimited data? Wow. See, there you go. You like when you stepped on it, my whole head just went back oh, against sorry, the seat. I no, that's fine. This is these are the things that are gonna happen when I'm dri when you're driving the car. Yeah. Is especially in the city where yeah. you're gonna start and stop all the time. Yeah. Well, I also did hammer it a little bit to try it out. <laughs> you know that we're responsible for any damage to this car. I do know that. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> wow. I was looking at you and my head hit the back of the seat again. That was crazy. I used to look down there. You did. You still live right there. I don't know how. It's supposed to be coming down. So you can go like this for my side and go like that to go down. So I can have it directly on me. Which is kind of nice, actually. It's not blowing in my face, but blowing out. Which is kind of cool. I can kind of feel it. And then you can move the fan up. So we can make it go higher. And that's some blasting. Let's turn that down. Um, yeah, I like a clean dashboard. It's gonna be nice. You know what's interesting is when you wash the car, mm -hmm. cleaning a dashboard in our current car is that's a pain sad. in the ass. You're right. This is nice and flat. So I can get in there. I don't have to struggle and reach with my 5'4 body to get into the dashboard You're to right. clean it. Um, back though is a little bit harder. There's a lot of window to clean um, in this car. A lot of windows. A lot, a lot of window for sure. I was worried about these, but they look very, very well tinted. It would have been nice to drive this on a sunny day to see how much sun comes in. Um, cause in our old car, our old car, our car, current car, we can close the thing to, to shut off the sunroof. Right. So we don't, if it's like a bright sunny day, we can stop the sun from blaring in. So this one doesn't, but it's tinted enough that I think it'll be okay. Well, which is we don't nice. live in Arizona or Florida or somewhere yeah. like that where it's super intense, but obviously it's bright and it'll be super nice on a sunny day. When I did test drive that, like the, the Model Y, which is a full glass roof, it mm -hmm. didn't it didn't seem like overly bright. I mean, I was wearing sunglasses regardless, but it yeah. didn't didn't feel like I was baking and, and super hot in the car. Yeah, you know, sometimes when you're in convertible and you're just sitting in traffic, you, you feel like you're roasting. Yeah, it didn't have that experience at all. Yeah, we're keeping our mask on in the car because we felt like well we should, but also I, I, there was no proof that the car was sanitized. That's my only thing. That would be, yeah, that's I would that's have liked to see them do it in front of me. Um, that's a bit of a concern. So yeah, the little things like that. Just be aware when you're test driving at this time in the world, in the pandemic. Those little things. Um, you can bring your own whites, maybe. Um, I'm curious about the velvet inside here now. That's concerning seeing the velvet worn away. I wonder if they have like a cover for that, like for the corners. Right. Because I can see that the velvet, I remember us looking at a Model 3 a couple years ago and they had velvet here. And I'm glad to see they've changed that because that was weird to me. I was like, what if it rains? What if you have a window down? It's going to get gross. Right. So clearly that was that was a concern and someone fixed it finally um i think the color car we will not know the color car we have is red um standard is white and standard paint is white yep. we're gonna get the standard white because we have a white car now and we like it because if there's a scratch you don't see it we had a red car before and boy does it fade in the sun yes it fades and you get any kind of scratch it's very noticeable that car was damaged the red car we had was damaged it mm -hmm. was scrapes or somebody carved an m onto the hood yeah so that was that was the, just, I mean, the just, red, just little scrapes key yeah. things like they stand out like crazy i the like white, the red the white hides it the white hides it the red though is very hard to take care of a red you color like the gray. i do like the gray however we I get do, the tesla wave 
I do think, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The, what I, there's a black one over there. What I do love about this car in the white is that because this the glass roof, it looks there's sort of two-tone. There's another one. There's yeah, so many. There. It's becoming standard. It's, I'm curious if we're gonna have so many Teslas in this town that it's gonna be hard to charge. Because we can't charge at home. We have to charge at a charger every time. Well, there's Because more... we we live in a building and they're, they're thinking about putting in some stuff because people are asking, but we live in a building and if we plugged in there, I think they'd be pretty mad. So, um, yeah, so we have to charge at a supercharger every time or wherever we can charge. So, unless we move in to a place that has chargers in the building. Right. But I think over, I mean, there's, there's a lot of chargers out different places and there's a couple near our house and there's actually a new Tesla charger going in in Burnaby. Oh, that's cool. Supercharger. It just means 20 minutes out of our day we're gonna, yeah. when we need to charge again, we're going to have to go charge, which isn't a big deal. We, we wait in line for gas at Costco for that long. And some of the grocery stores that we go to, yeah. those chargers, so you just have I mean, to change you have your the, the low chargers too, right? If you're going to yeah. the mall for a couple hours, you can at least get a little bit of charge right. on there. Um, we luckily we have a high bc hydro charger near our house so and it seems to be available a lot so but wow i'm seeing a lot of more teslas out and about it's like every couple cars is a tesla it does seem like that so this is interesting i have to get in and out of the car again to see if i'm gonna hit my head again yeah. you I do like the rubber mats well do those come with it i don't know they, oh my okay my rubber mats actually stay in place there's something holding it down oh nice so the car we have now your rubber mat has a little hook mine yeah. does not have a hook this has always bothered me um so that's cool now i don't it, it won't like i like that it goes up to like further up because when i'm laying down in the car like i often take naps because i get car sick um my feet end up going up here yeah. So it just seems like more room. I haven't tried laying back yet. Let's see. I'm going to go all the way down. Good night. How many? I hope we're not past our 30 minutes. No. Okay, I'm going how far back? I remember, they know exactly where we are. Okay, I'm as far back as I can go, I think. Wow. So this is. <laughs> comfortable? It's comfortable. I still need a pillow because there's never anywhere for your head. Um, there's other, there's like lumbar support on there too, which you could play okay. around with. You should, like, are you How super, do you play with it? Oh, you mean go back. There should be three buttons. There is. You can go back. There's two. You go up and down. And I went back like that. And I'm sort of, yeah, you can go up, down. Like, the seat can go up a little on the front end. What's also nice is you can, when you're messing with your chair, you can save the settings. So when you drive and when you get into the car, when your uh -huh. phone's near it, the seat will adjust to you. So you don't have to, so when you're switching drivers, it just changes to the driver. I like that the front so, yeah. of the seat, okay, when I'm in the car, my legs tend to hurt because I'm, because right here around my knees, they tend to hurt. So this part is like lifting up which I need on my legs because it helps on long car trips. It won't hurt, my legs won't be in pain. Right. So that that's kind of nice that it lifts up in the front. Are they heated seats? Yes. Okay, I've, I've come to enjoy the, heated seats, so I'm glad they're I just heated. I turned it on for you there. There's oh a boy. There. Whoa. Huh. They heat up pretty quick. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, it's a nice distribution of heat. It doesn't like just one hot in spot bum. in your bum and feels like you peed your pants. You know what I'm talking about. I do. Um, it's just a It's all on my bum though. There's no, you can't, I don't know if you can change the direction. Our current car, you can do the back of the seat or the bottom of the seat. And boy, do we need to turn off the bottom of the seat right now because it's really hot. <laughs> right it, it, it warms up really quick. Does the steering wheel warm up? Oh, there's three levels of the heater. I had it turned off. Oh, okay. I oh, okay. It. There was little waves that went away. Okay. I do like so that's drive. that's good. So in here, we're in the Vancouver testing area. There's a ton of Teslas here. Like a lot of people picking up their cars. 
I can't wait till the day we get to pick up a car. So now we're back into the parking garage. Look at all these Teslas. This is insane. This is how many people are probably picking up cars. There's some Model Ys and there's our car, but I won't show our plate because uh, everybody check our spots. Uh, maybe right over here in the right, there might be something. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Are you going to be able to do this? We will find out. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this is where we rack the car. There are so many sensors in here. I know. I'm just so nervous because we don't own this car. Okay. Well, can you? I wonder how you can. I wonder if you can make it do it for you. Turn around. Yeah. Or you know what I mean. Let it do it for you. Perhaps. You did it. You did it. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to park it up front because there's nowhere to put the car. They can use our space when we leave. And there's Scotty driving it and parking it in a very tight space. So there you go. It's going to be tight. But Scott's a good driver. He can do it. I hope he can get out of the car. <laughs> Cute little car. Just barely. Do the lights turn off on their own? Yeah. Okay, there they go. They turned away. off. And there you go. So when we walk away, the mirror is too cold. And the car is good. The mirrors will automatically fold? Yeah, we further away. Do we have to get further? They have not folded yet. So we just found out that the reason why the windows did not go in is because we didn't lock the car. You're supposed to tap it on the side of the, the little black bar over here. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, yeah. when you have the, the phone as your key, walking away with your phone will lock the car. But in this case, you have to tap it yeah. and then it'll lock. So there, there you go. So there you go, we'll be ordering one very, very soon. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. It's helping us figure out what it is that we're looking for and what we want to do. Uh, if you want to watch more of these videos, I'd love it if you would click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And of course, like this video if you like it so we can continue to do more videos, bring more things to you. This is a little bit separate than our weird, weird together regular content that we're doing. Um, but this is just two of us, Shannon and I, figuring out what, what it is that we want in terms of our next vehicle. And just jumping in and switching to full electric. So thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye humans.